Good day everyone and welcome to episode 37 season 2 in our series on transport fever. Now uh, when we last left off we were trying to get the uh, complicated run that we had to produce goods going. Now, as you recall, we set up all the track, we set up all the lines, and we got the engines and the consists all going, but nobody was carrying goods. And the reason is very simple. It's the uh, operator's klutz, that is my klutz. And so what I had to do off camera was go through all the lines and basically make sure that everyone was doing what they were supposed to be doing. And there were two, I think I fiddled with everything. One of the problems was that one of the lines that I had set up was doing an unload only in rugby and it shouldn't have been doing that. And the other one was that I had left the goods choose between logs and planks. And so what I did was I made them I took them back to the to the engine shed and changed oh train moment and changed them to planks only and of course when you've got a complicated series like that every part of the chain has to complete because if any part of the chain doesn't work then the whole chain stops working so we're now in a situation where every one of everything has been delivered except we haven't got any goods back yet so we can see the truck we can see the trains coming in and out and that guy's got planks uh now in order to um to properly look at this we need to have a look at the individual trains that we've got running. So this guy, he is our uh, lumber to planks guy. He's going out there and we just saw him bring planks in. But of course now he's out of sequence um, and there's, there's no lumber waiting for him to pick up. So we'll just wait till we, actually let's go up here and, and have a better look. So this guy down here, here he is, he's our oil and, no he's not, aren't you, oh yeah, he's our crude to oil dude. That's him. So he's doing crude to oil. Now, where's the other guy gone? Hello? All right, this, oh, okay, here we go. Our first goods is coming back, right there, which proves that we've got the entire chain running. But I still don't see, I still don't see our oil to, Oh, there he is. No, that's not him. Where is he? Is that him? Oh, yeah, that's him. So, here's the second one. We do have an oil to... somewhere. And, um, just by the by, we do have a problem. And this is the problem right here. Um, that doesn't work for us. So what that particularly means is that uh, we need another station. But to be honest, um, I think we can, we're going to have to reverse you because we can't get you in there. Um, we're going to need another station. And I really don't know how that's going to work for us. Because that means a complete reconfiguration of this area up here. 
So our hub with the mere 2468 tracks in it isn't enough for what we need to do. So we likely will need another station just for what we're doing and I don't know how that's going to work with our hub with our distribution center here. Maybe what we need to do is put it there because this particular distribution we can run off a separate um, cargo goods exchange. So we're going to have to give some thought to that, but this is this is encouraging because we now have our first goods coming into our station. Now the problem being, of course, that we can't keep stopping and restarting all the time. So we're going to have to come up with a cunning and devious plan to redevelop this area here. But we now have goods working. And I'm just going to wait because I want to see the goods come in. Actually, because it's very exciting. And move out here a bit and do that. And maybe even get a thumbnail set up. Yay. All right. We don't need you. We don't need you. What we want to see is you. Because you will complete our goods line. So close. Oh, look at that. Here you go. One good is being delivered to rugby. And it is going to net us the grand sum total of thirty-eight point two thousand dollars. Very good. Now over time that line will build itself up. And then, of course, when we do the redevelopment of this area, um, you'll have to start all over again. So that's going to be exciting. But I think for the remainder of this episode, we might need to take a look at our passenger services and despair at how badly things are actually moving. What have we got on the train? 50 out of 122. Not overly encouraging. But what is this here? This is Dubbo Airport. Ah, Dubbo Airport. Oh yeah, and look at this. You know what? We've got 1.62 million in the bank. I think we need to um, do something with this. Because that is just, quite frankly, ridiculous. That, that, you could fit an ocean liner under that. And um, in actual fact, that's so steep a tram shouldn't even be able to get up and down that. Seriously. Yes, seriously. But what it needs to be is about that height there. Yeah, probably need, yeah, about that height there. So let's, let's pause the game and get our, our favourite dude which is, uh, no, we'll do that. Yep, that's it. Mm, probably that. Yep. And uh, we will, now, how big are you? Large street. Is that you? No, that's not you. Uh, it's going to be this one, maybe? Okay, we need to, now hang on, we need to join you to there. How does that look? That's still way too high. Okay, hang on, we could do that. You know what, let's redo the whole thing. Let us redo the whole thing. From right at the very 
beginning to the very end over here. Okay, so this one. Okay. Right, right, right. It's... How does that look? That, I think, is much more realistic. Is everyone comfortable? Oh, look at that. What's that? What does it do to the cost? 1.3 million. Oh, no, you can't do that. I, know what they, I like that one because, A, it's cheap and it's practical and it works. It's still very high, but at least it doesn't look stupid. I'm okay with that. All right, now, we seem to have way too many people out here. Tram Dubbo Airport. Tram Dubbo Airport. Tram Wongarban Airport. We've got way too many people out there. Tell you what we might do. Tram Wongarban Airport and Tram Dubbo Airport. Is that a tram stop? Yep. Buy trams. What colour are our trams? I think they should be... Uh, well, actually, what colour are they on the other side? They're blue there. No, wait a minute. Stop it. Where are they? Where are they? Oh, there they are. They are, they are green. And we have, oh, they're well over their use by day two. Okay. Let's have a look. What have we got? Oh, see, we can go to these. Now, these have got many more passengers. And I think that is okay for us. Automatic replacement on, 125%. And that is good. So we'll replace those. And I'm quite sure that these guys on this side of the particular fence who are purple. Interesting colour scheme. No, they're green as well. No, they're not anymore. They're going to be... I don't know. How about yellow? Yes. And we're going to upgrade you as well to these guys. Which are going to be yellow. Of course you are. And they should... They certainly should be replaced now because they're 51 years of age. Okay, we've just at least doubled our capacity, but I want to see when these guys will change. Oh, there they go. I think when he gets to the bus stop, he should, the bus stop, the tram stop, he should change. No? Yes. Nice. Okay. Oh, I love that. That's an engineering marvel, if ever I saw one. Now what? Okay. I'm curious. You are waiting for what? No path, electric. Really? No path electric. Don't tell me. Yep. You told... No, that looks electrified. Doesn't it? No, it does not. Oh, dearie me. Tram and bus. 
tram and bus tram oh look at that um um all right hold that hold that oh whoa 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 whoa, whoa. tram one garbon airport where are you could not connect all stations right could not connect all stations because we haven't laid tram tracks bus lane tram tracks keep electric really really yep there you go ah oh, magically the yellow button Well, there, <clears throat> there's an odd thing. Okay, got that sorted. He is yellow. He should be heading back down Oh, it stops at the peak. No? <laughs> Did you all see that? The people at the pedestrian crossing stopped to let the tram through. That, that's, um, yeah, that's not going to happen very often in the real world, is it? Not at all. All right, so over here, what's going on? What is going on? Ah! Oh, look at you. Very nice. 88 out of 122. Not bad, not much of a backlog, you would have to say. Got a bit of a backlog over here though, wow. What is going on here? Tram, one Garvin rugby. Really? Tram, one Garvin rugby. Well, 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 look at you. Ah, interesting problem. Okay. Uh, replacement. Yep. Now, you are currently yellow. So we made the other guy yellow, but... You know, you, you can stay yellow. I, th I think that's fine. Uh, automatic replacement will be at 125 years. We'll be okay with you. The D56 Cobra on... Right. Okay. Fifty-seven. Yeah, we need some more trams. Like tram one garbon rugby. Right. Tram one garbon rugby. Yellow. We'll get uh, two more, maybe. Garvin Rugby. Yep. Help alleviate some of the stress and pressure of modern day life. So that one's doing alright. We haven't done passenger services for ages. But they look like they're doing too badly. 22 and 27. And, oh, what are you? Why are you got so many people? Waiting at station. Four out of... Oh, well. Ah, uh, yep. That that might have something to do with it. Whoa! 168 years. What a classic. Okay, what a classic that is. Um, yeah. 
Um, let's go blue. Blue is a nice color. Okay, so we're going to replace you at a little, a little less than a hundred odd years. So let's keep an eye on you and see what happens when you get to where you're supposed to be. Oh wow, how about that in the modern city? That's that's public transport for you at its best. Tell you what, that's got to be that's got to be worth a thumbnail. That's got to be a thumbnail worth having. Modern transportation at its absolute best. I wonder if we can make we get make sure we get all those cars in so that we like. We've got. We got all the modern cons in there. Yep, that is that's just modern transportation at its best. And we'll put it over that way. How's that? Yeah, you go. Okay, that's the thumbnail, everybody. Pretty sure that was the thumbnail. Fuck! What can't I turn? Oh, I've got a building there, that's why. Actually, tell you what, hold on a think. Let's go up here. That'll, that'll be it. That'll be the way to go. Yep, that'll be it. Well, of course, you know, we live in a modern age and modern, modern things are happening all around us. But it's always good to be reminded of our past. Even if it slows us down to five miles an hour uh, driving through the streets. There you go. I reckon that's a that's a pretty good thumbnail. I reckon that's the go right there. Okay. Oh wow! And magically we turn into a modern bus. Pretty cool. Okay, that's all good then. Geary's got itself sorted out. Uh, now what about over here? Oh, holy of Dooley, what is going on there? Trainies got a lot of people waiting, and so is Dubbo. Why is that, um, what is that? What's on the trainy line? One, two, three. I got four. Man, wow, okay. Got four on the train line. I'm just going to leave that for a minute. Oh, I wonder if we should go to five. Actually, let's check out a bus route here too. Oh, well, we've got... Waiting at station, how are you doing? Well, you're not full. Are you bus or tram? Or are you tram? Ah, uh, wait a minute. Isn't bus for the station and tram for... Yeah, okay. Bus is for station. Tram is for the airport, I believe. School Lane, Wellington Road. Well, who stops there? All right, hold on. I'm going to have to go and have a sticky beak at this. We need to know who stops there. Two billion dollars in the bank. Well, we're not we're not losing money. That's for sure. We seem to be doing pretty good business. 
Here comes the tram. What's on the tram? Is there a tram stop there? What's that? That's the bus. Oh, no wonder. Yeah, that that's a little outdated. That bus is just a little outdated. Yep. At least it's a Mercedes. And uh, Mercedes do make pretty good buses. Uh, I think we'll stay with green, but I think we will possibly update. I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we'll do that. That should solve that problem. Now what else? Man, oh man. You can't neglect any of this stuff, can you? What have we got here? Oh yeah, same problem. Look at the age of that thing. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Ah, uh, the updating. It's all about the updating. Turn you on. Turn you on. Yep, that'll take care of you. And then we'll go over here. Because you get distracted by other stuff. You get tied up and then you, you, before you know it, half your network is so old it can't even run properly. I mean, let's face it, we had stagecoaches still delivering passengers or picking passengers up in, um, in one of our major cities. Uh, I'm all for nostalgia, but uh, at the end of the day, you've still got to move the people between the cities. Okay. Uh, it's going to cost us a bit of money to do the update, but $2 billion in the bank, you know. It's like, yeah, let's complain about not, not making enough profit. Whoops, who did that? Not me. I never complain about not making enough profit. Where are the buses? I see people at the stops, but I'm not seeing the buses. Well, that's an interesting problem. People are at the bus stop, but there are no buses. Ah, we have Dooley Dooley. Hey. What is that? Oh, good grief, it's a steam driven one. <laughs> and how many buses do we How many do we have? Overview details. Details. Hang on. Overview. Gulma Road. Vehicles. Oh, that's going to help. I got one. <laughs> I got one. Great. No wonder there's a bit of a holdup. Right, details. Uh, I think we should replace that. I mean, I'm just saying, you know, really, we should replace it. Uh, how about a light, pinky, peachy, colory thingy bobby there? Uh, I think we might do 125. Yep. And um, I'm, uh, what's your line? Gulma Road one. I think I'll add uh, two more, actually. Gulma Road one. Two more. You are peachy colour. Bye. Bye. Thank you. What's that line? And Gulma Road one. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's a little bit of modernization that we needed. Just a smidge. Now, this one probably going to be equally as interesting. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. So, we know how this is going to end. Um, not peach this time. Maybe, uh... Oh, grey. Who doesn't like a good grey? On 1.25%. Yep. And add... Uh, add, if I can find the depot. There's a depot, there it is. Add two more, I think, just to be... Well, you know, we could overdo it, but I don't think it's going to matter at this point. Ah, uh, 
Golgon Road 1, I'm guessing. Yep. Okay. All right, that will help our train services as well. And uh, which are doing 44. And you are pulling 60 out of 99, so that's a good number. Now, what about our train service up here, which we discovered the other week or several episodes ago that the clutch factor had deleted over here the connection between the road and the train station. And, of course, when that happens, nobody gets to the train. So you are 19 out of 64. I wonder if you're actually making money. Oh, hang on. Um... Overview finances. Ah, you're not. But at least you're not losing 1.3 million a year. You're only losing. Well, you might be losing 1.38. As well, over a year ago we fixed you. Ah. I could put trams in, but then I've wasted all that infrastructure. Um, maybe we can grow the town. Although, mind you, in the real world, the oval is pretty small. Oh. <laughs> Seriously? Oh, modern equipment everywhere. Modern equipment everywhere. Got to love it. Got to love it. All right. All right. I think we, I think we owe it to our passengers to fix this up. How about that? Light blue. Got it. Uh, turn that on, 125%, and you're good. Yay, there we go, modern technology at its best. Well, all right, we've probably got the same issue in Badanga Return. Oh no, Badanga is doing all right, actually. Um... Automatic replacement is on, but let's change the replacement vehicle to you. Yep, okay. And we'll just leave that where it is. I think that's pretty good. Excellent. Uh, now, did we do Wellington? I can't recall if we looked at Wellington at all. So let's do that right now. Wellington is... What bus is that? Um, what bus is that? Uh, that's the modern one, so that's fine. We, we're up to date there, and that's all good. Okay, so we are... We are making money. Even though we have some losing lines... Look at the margin, 69, 66, 66, 29, and it's only July. So we are, we are doing fabulously well, actually. Now let's just, oh, here we've got a problem. All right, we are seriously going to have to redo this. Where's your engine? Um, yeah, turn around, go back. You know what, if I put, um, no, that's not going to work either. Where are you going? You go there. Do you have, oh, you know what I could do? Because I don't know that you're on the same line, are you? Let's just wait a second and see. Maybe there's a simple way to sort this out. Not hoiling. Hoiling? Very good. Let's hoil some oil. Oh, man. No more sitting in dark rooms. All right. You can uh, you can reverse now and go back up there. Um, all right. We're 34 minutes into the episode. I think we just need to spend a couple of minutes now thinking about how we're going to deal with the situation up here with our uh, freight hub. Now, in terms of efficiencies, we are actually going to do 
much better, I think. Well, okay, here's the, here's my thinking on this. We are going to need at least one, possibly two uh, depots for trucks to bring services into rugby, or goods into rugby. That's a given. So what we could do is move this road line to over here on the right-hand side of our rugby depot and place another one over here, another uh, goods line over here. Move, that would place the two stations within, and I'm assuming that if the two stations are close enough to each other, the goods will transfer between them. Uh, I'm assuming that. Could totally be wrong, but that's what I'm hoping will happen. We could then reroute all of this over to this side and then reroute these into here. But that works on the assumption that we don't set up another complicated goods line and we're going to have to do the same thing all over again. But somehow I don't think that's what's going to happen. I think we're going to end up with multiple hubs. Oh, that's a tricky issue, that one. That is a very tricky issue. But you know what? I think that's what we're going to do. So in the next episode, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to pause the game and basically reroute all our tracks and services from this side down to a new uh, hub over here with truck depots in the middle and this hub will be reconfigured to deal with the stuff from this complicated goods network that we've got set up to provide goods and mind you having done all of that and having set this up to deliver goods, we haven't even begun the distribution of goods to the towns uh, with the towns where. Which towns are we going to give it to? I reckon we should bring it to this town, Bentham at least, and Wongarban. So we should be supplying at least three towns with goods. not he said to himself looking askance at what he was planning so that's it that's our next episode thank you very much everyone for joining me today i hope you're enjoying the uh, series i hope you enjoyed the episode and i will look forward to seeing you again in a grumpiest gamer channel near you see you all later bye